Hello everybody. Myself Sakshar Shah, I'm an assistant professor from the Department of Pharmaceutical Technology, JIS University. Today I'm going to talk about the topic of study of anti-inflammatory effects of drugs using rat paw edema method. This is a topic from BFARM fifth semester of the subject Pharmacology 2 Laboratory and this subject is having a subject code BPT 593. So this is a lab we are going to discuss the theoretical part I'm going to discuss and then later on if we uh, have the possibility we can perform that in our laboratory and show you how we can actually perform all these laboratory pharmacological experiments in reality. So let's see what we have today. Hello everybody. So the lab we are going to perform today is study of anti-inflammatory effect using a drug by using a specific method that is called paw edema method in the biological system which is rat. So we'll be using rat today and the method we're going to uh, perform, we're going to utilize rather, that is paw edema method. And we are going to study the effect of a particular drug that that particular drug is having whether anti-inflammatory effect or not. So that means the drug, whether the drug is having a power, a potency or effect that it can reduce the inflammation or not. Now before moving on to the uh, detailed, uh, you know, description, detailed discussion about this method, we first need to know what is inflammation. So that is one of the important thing because if you don't know inflammation, then it will be very difficult for you to understand. So inflammation means, inflammation has, it is a symptom of your body. It has five specific characteristics. If you have that five specific characteristic in a particular region of your body, then you can see that this portion of my body is inflamed. What is that? First is redness, heat, pain, uh, loss of function and swelling. So swelling, heat, pain, loss of function and redness. If any part of your body has this five uh, effect or five symptoms, then you only can say that your body, the part of your that body is uh, suffering from inflammation. Okay, so the drug which is having an anti-inflammatory property which relieves your body from this five signs, heat, redness, pain, uh, loss of function like it revives the function and the um, uh, you know your swelling so the now we will be seeing that the drug of our interest the drug the, the drug we are going to use today whether that drug is having anti-inflammatory property or not so what we will do whenever you are doing any kind of animal experimentation you have to what generally is being done that we have to develop artificially the disease that means here we have to develop the inflammation in the uh, animal. So that is edema. Edema means a formation of a lump in your body. Okay, so that means the swelling. Basically edema resembles a swelling. Right, if any part of your body gets swelled up, then you can see that there is a formation of edema. So what we will do, the paw, that means the, you know, the leg portion, the paw of the uh, rat will be swelled up and we will use our drug to reduce that. This is our motto. So what we are going to do, we will be using a particular drug which induce the swelling, which will develop the swelling and another drug we will be using which will help to reduce the swelling. So for that, what we are going to do, we are going to take animal that is albino rat we are going to take albino rat that should be having 150 to 200 gram and it will be of any gender either male or female okay and it will be fasted overnight okay then uh, the next portion is drug we will be taking the consideration for this experiment we are having two drugs one is indomethacin i n d o m e t h a c i n indomethacin or it is sometimes being called endometacin, M-E-T-A-C-I-N, both are same. Endometacin is a classification of N-S-A-I-D, N-S-S, okay. 
non steroidal anti inflammatory drug right so it is a kind of a non steroid is a type of a non steroidal anti inflammatory drug it reduces the inflammation in the name it is having already anti inflammatory drug so it reduces the inflammation how by inhibiting the pathway of production of prostaglandin so if we have this drug the prostaglandin synthesis or production in your body will be less how because it blocks uh, it stops the pathway or it slows down the pathway of cox c o x that is cyclooxygenase pathway cyclooxygenase is an enzyme which helps which is a major enzyme which plays an uh, important role to um, in the production of prostaglandin so it blocks that and due to the due to having high level of prostaglandin inflammation occurs so if the prostaglandin level in your body reduces the inflammation will automatically reduce so this is the mechanism of action of indomethacin another thing we are using that is carrageenan c a r r a g double e n a n carrageenan is a Uh, uh, is a substance which is obtained. It is a, basically it's a mixture of polysaccharide which can be obtained by uh, by seaweed. Okay, by a seaweed which uh, basically which is color like a red or purple. The seaweeds used to be like red or purple, and from that it can be obtained carrageenan. It is a mixture of polysaccharide. In the overdose of carrageenan, the inflammation occurs. Edema occurs because carrageenan is a Uh, substance which in the food industry in the food products generally being used as a thickening purpose so it basically helps to thicken up the food but that means it has a tendency to build up or retain the fluids so whenever in a overdose it is being given to the uh, animal body it is uh, causing the swelling or inflammation so this is the whole method like we will be developing the swelling and we will be seeing whether our drug indomethacin has its anti inflammatory effect or not so what we will do first okay uh, this apparatus i'm coming so this is a plethysmograph p l e t h y s m o m e t e r plethysmometer is a apparatus which actually helps in uh, in measurement of volume body volume whole body volume or any part of the body's volume okay it is for volume measurement so what we are going to do just like the other experiments animal experiments we will be having two groups we can have three or four but minimum two groups will be there one is control group and another is test group we will be having two group control and test so control meat it it will only be given the solvent the solvent at which the drug indomethacin will be dissolved and the test means indomethacin the drug will be giving okay so uh, what uh, what will be the concentration the indomethacin will be given as per the uh, body weight of uh, the uh, rat 120 mg per kg and the carrageenan the concentration will be same for all mice uh, all rat that is 1% w by v right that is 1 gram of carrageenan in 100 ml of the uh, solvent whatever the solvent is okay and it will be given 0.1 ml the injection will be parenteral root will be using so what we will do firstly we will and we will be using uh, the fasted um, uh, rat who are overnight doing the overnight fasting so firstly before starting the experiment we will take the we will check the volume of paw of each of the group of each animal each rat we are we have measured the paw volume and we have noted down next what we will do <coughs> sorry we will uh, put the saline solution okay the solvent solvent if you are taking saline or pbs to the group 1 to the group 1 that is the control group we are putting the solvent solution and in the both paw both paw we are putting the solvent in case of test the same at the same time the group 2 we are giving the indomethacin in the both paw okay so group 1 will be given with a uh, saline solution and group 2 is given with the dr test drug solution that is the indomethacin after giving after 30 minutes okay after 30 minutes 
after 30 minutes what we are going to do we will be giving the carrageenan because carrageenan is a inflammation inducing agent we'll be giving the carrageenan to the left paw of each group i am repeating carrageenan that the inflammation inducing solution will be given to the left paw of each of the group left paw of each group carrageenan carrageenan we are giving in the left paw of each of the group once it is done we will be measuring the volume of paw in different time interval and what are the time interval the time interval is 0 15 30 and 60 minute this is the time interval we are we are going to check the paw volume of each of the group of each of the leg and each of the paw okay so per time we will be getting four volume because each of the group is having two volume why one is of left paw another one is of right paw right so both a group at a time we will be having four volume left right left right so zero minute zero minute means the moment we have put the carrageenan solution if it is like 6 pm so it is 6 pm then 6 15 then 6 30 and then 7 pm we'll be checking the um, we'll be taking the those um, uh, what do you call it the paw volume okay and then we will compare how much volume or how much volume has been reduced or has been developed in case of the control group and in case of the test drug indomethacin group and there is a formula which is called the percentage inhibition. Now, percentage inhibition means that how much percentage of uh, your uh, inflammation, how much percentage of your inflammation have been inhibited by your drug, that is indomethacin, that you need to calculate. So, percentage, sorry, inhibition is equal to mean of test mean means the mean volume of the paw volume mean of paw volume mean of test by mean of control okay into 100 i'm just writing 100 here in this side because there is no uh, space 100 into mean of test by mean of control okay this is the formula of percentage inhibition for this particular experiment like how much percentage of inflammation has been inhibited has been stopped or prevented by your drug that is indomethacin so this is the experiment you need to do in vivo in your experimental pharmacology lab i hope you have understood what i tried to imply if there is any confusion we can discuss that in the class and before that i'll request all of you to go through the video well so that you can understand the phenomenon quite well okay thank you so much